and assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to another tutorial where we are going to show how we can participate in a um, in a quiz or in the midterm exam which is actually designed as assignment so we are uh, going to have a quiz and also in the later week we are going to have midterm exam so uh, let us see how we can um, we can participate in the exam so i'm with you md shajad Ahmed. so as you can see this is a course page which is object oriented programming so to jump the current week just click on jump to current and then you can find that there is a course uh, a quiz design which is name as quiz 2 so click on it so after you click on it you can see uh, uh, this is quiz 1 so atom is allowed 1 out of 2 uh, this is atom one, but uh, please remember in midterm there will be only one atom as well. So status no atom because uh, this student is still does not have make any atom, so there is no grading and time remaining. So uh, uh, six days remain still last modified and when uh, a student going to add a submission, then he need to he or she need to click on the add submission. So first of all. Uh, this is the problem statement. So to open the problem statement, just need to click on it. It will be downloaded. You can see it will be saying that uh, download on to download it is click on yes and then download it and then re review the question and we start answering. So when you have completing reviewing the question, just click on the add submission and then a field will appear. Um, so you can see uh, the maximum file type should be uh, 10 MB and as we have already said that only supported file is PDF there and uh, as you can see there is a rubrics as well. So rub what is rubrics? Rubrics is how your teacher going to marks your uh, submission or marks your uh, answering. So uh, if there is a rubrics you can just click on it and then you can see uh, what the rubrics is saying that means how your teacher is going to grade your uh, submission, your response. So you can see that uh, this one is uh, actually the rubrics. That means uh, uh, for programming, there are 66% marks. And if uh, the, your programming um, is out, out in standing, then you will get 10 marks. If it is proficient, then eight. Also, there is an explanation how you can consider or how your teacher going to consider that your answering or your uh, programming response is outstanding or how the reasoning is outstanding. So it will help you to identify how your teacher going to mark or grade your response actually. So uh, when you're done with it, take a snap, make PDF and when the PDF is ready, just uh, say this one is your PDF. So just drag and drop or you can also select the file as well so it will be ready and when you want to submit this just click on save so this is uh, there is another option enable which help you uh, to just uh, this one is just drafted that means it's still not submitted if you want to change it or if you want to modify it you are allowed you can see that uh, this is drafted not submitted so it is very helpful because uh, sometimes like, you see that you find that you have submitted wrong file or you have submitted a ID, renaming by your ID. So if you uh, forget that, just uh, go to edit submission. And if you want to delete the file, just, uh, just you can see the file is appeared. Just click on the file and there is delete option. So you can delete that and then you can edit your submission, okay? So when your file is ready and you're confirmed that yes, I have submitted or I have attached the uh, the perfect file, the correct file, then you can go for submit assignment and then your message will pop up that uh, uh, do you want to continue or do you want to submit the file? So when you click on submission, so it will uh, tell you that yes, your submission is done you can see that submission uh, submission for grading so you are waiting for grading when uh, your teacher grade your uh, response your um, your submission then there will be a grade as well you can see your grade 
after your teacher uh, make your submission make uh, make grading of your submission so, so this is how actually you, you have to participate in a uh, midterm upcoming uh, midterm exam or uh, in a quiz which is actually taken in an assignment manner so uh, hopefully this will help you a lot to understand the overall process and it will help you to uh, to remove your confusion about how things going to be happen so that's all from uh, this tutorial um, hopefully we'll meet again in next tutorial till then everyone stay safe stay home allah hafiz assalamu alaikum